Welcome to Violin Adventures number 156. This week we made great progress on the cello. We also have a new instrument to work on and the diamond in the rough is ready. Its tone is good. It's continuing on improving. So we're going to go ahead with the varnishing next week. Okay, it just started to turn cold out here. So that's why I have a sweater on. But I'm going to play this violin throughout the week. Just from plucking it, I can hear it is still sounding good. And I'm excited to play it again. I think from the last recording, I wanted to move the camera back further so that it's not too loud for the camera. Okay, the violin is still sounding good. I think the next thing we need to do is work on the cello, getting the scraping done so we can work on the sound holes next. Okay, our Appalachian Mountain, the Spruce Chip Mountain, has reached its zenith and now it's gonna disappear. So let's get the final measurement. We're about 15 inches high and in width, so about 68 inches wide and now it's time for it to go away here's a view from above the tips of our mountain here and from all these tips emerges a beautiful cello top All right, the spruce chip mountain is gone. We still got to clean up the floor. Okay, now comes the fun part. We do this just for fun, but let's measure how light this top is. And I had written down on here how much it was when we started and it looks like it is gone, rubbed off. So I don't remember if it was like 12 pounds or... Okay, it's at one pound and about six ounces. Now just for fun, let's weigh all the scraps. Okay, three pounds and five ounces here. Three pounds and five ounces is what we cut off. Okay, here's what we carved off. Okay, almost six. Almost six pounds, we're just under. So, almost six. Let's just say six pounds we took off in carving and three and a half in cutting. So that was nine and a half pounds we've removed, leaving us with, so we must have started around 11 or 12 pounds. I think it was around 12 pounds. Okay, back to work. That was just for fun. Well, while we are having fun, let's see what's in this package. And there's a judge's gavel. Now I can make pronouncements officially. <coughs> Well, that sounded funny. <coughs> hmm. I don't know if that sounds official enough. <coughs> <laughs> it sounds kind of uh, uncertain. Well, this was just really cheap. Maybe in time we can make a real one. <laughs> you know, actually, this will be just right for Freddie. Maybe Freddie can make pronouncements. 
That sounds like his kind of gavel. So let me go get him. We'll put it here where he can reach it. to be an instrument that needs some repair so let's look let's open it up together and see what we find okay isn't that a pretty instrument very beautiful okay I'm gonna let the owner of this instrument know that it arrived in good shape and then tomorrow we'll look at it and see what we can do to improve this tone. Okay, we, we have here the viola. We're going to play it and see how it's responding. <laughs> and see if we can improve this. If not, we'll take a look on the inside. I got the sound post out. And we can see right off, this is an old sound post and just three grains. So we're gonna definitely replace the sound post. Let's see if we feel it, feel and hear a difference. Okay, we changed the sound post. Let's see what we've got now. <laughs> sound. So we're going to put all the parts in our special box. Well, we're halfway through getting the top off. The nice thing is, which is amazing, it feels like they used the proper glue, so it's coming apart all right and a lot of times instruments from china will uh, they use some other kind of glue that is just so hard to get out and it's so hard to keep from tearing the top or tearing the wood in some way turn the camera back on as soon as i get it loosened up and then we can look inside together okay here's our viola we're gonna take the top off and there it is. Nice clean work. Here's our sound post that we put in earlier. We've got corner blocks and everything is nice and neat. The graduations on the top are just a little bit thick. 
So I need to go teach right now. So we'll come back probably tomorrow. Well, look at all these tools. I am, I've been working on this scroll, uh, working on the back side here, trying to get it all smooth. And sometimes sandpaper just doesn't work. So I've been using little scrapers like these. This is a really extra hard piece of maple. So it just takes a little longer to get it all smooth. Okay, we're working on the top here and we're just mapped out the sound holes or the F holes. And so the next thing I do is I rough it out. So I have here one side roughed out. It's very ugly, but the fun part comes when you are cleaning all that up and you make it your sound hole. So I'm going to start on the other side here, get this one roughed out. So here we go. Okay, here it comes. Okay, here these are roughed out. I would, but right now I'm going to take a break. When I do these sound holes, I want to keep changing my blade so it's very, very sharp. And I also want to take breaks. Cutting the sound holes is something that is very artistic. You just want to be really careful. Up, we're working on this viola and we're going to take the base bar out and I've got it started here. Mapping this out, I think I know uh, it looks like exactly where we need to take it down. There's some sections that are too thick and they're in the wrong places. So let's see if we can correct this. Okay, here we are back on the viola and we want to get the weight down Especially on this end, it seems so heavy. So I'm going to take this fingerboard off and it doesn't look like it's real ebony. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> no, nope, this isn't gonna come off very easy. So I think I will wait till I can really spend some time this will be a project for next week, is getting this fingerboard off. Okay, here we are working on the F-holes. And so I'm just going to get this cleaned up a little. Okay, one extra hard part is getting the cut that goes down into this area and around. A little bit funny because I'm working on this on cutting these and I want to show you guys little parts of it but then the camera gets in my way so and you have to keep turning the turning this this way and that way going with the grain you don't want to go against it so you're going with the grain you keep having to change the direction of your knife so I'm getting closer to making that final cut where the the point comes in at the bottom of the sound hole. So I'll bring you up here and we'll see if we can get it recorded. Thank you. 
Okay, can you see that? So we finally made this cut that goes all the way around the, the pointed part of the wing. That's the wing there. So I need to do that on the rest of the sound holes and then I can relax and just enjoy putting style into this. So now that this one is open, the wing is free. I'm gonna go up to the top here and work on getting this wing freed. Okay, we broke free. We broke free on the top wing now. So we've got those open. All that's left is to uh, finish this up real nicely. So this one is roughed out. Now we've got to rough out this side. Freddie wants to chat. Hi, hi everybody. Hi, I'm Freddie. And this is my corner. And I gotta tell you guys that my friend, Mr. Thomas Pinch, he just sent me a video, so I have to put it right in here. It's really exciting because he got his music box all finished. Yay! was fantastic. Well, don't forget to send me all your videos and your pictures of your projects. This is really fun. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. The Hebrew Minute. Va'avarka mavarkaka um kalelka aor. This is God speaking regarding the children of Israel, and it says, And I will bless those who bless you, and those who curse you, or, this also means those who make you insignificant, I will curse. So it's two different words. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. Okay, here we are Friday afternoon, and you can see the leaves are changing to beautiful red. The sky is gorgeous. Let's go in and see what's going on. In the shop here, all is peaceful and quiet. So here's the cello table. We're in the process on the scroll. And here, working on the sound holes. This side is roughed out. And we're still working on opening the wings so we can finish that up, Lord willing, next week. Here's the viola we're working on. We got the bass bar out and the graduation's fixed. And here, this is extra heavy, so we're going to try to get that fingerboard off. And here's our diamond in the rough. Lord willing, we'll get to varnishing this instrument next week. Well, thank you everyone for watching and for all your wonderful comments and for your thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all of you. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.